to cool, how to cook with depression. That's my next video. How to be cool with depression. Hello kids. Today I'm going to teach you how to cook with depression. I have some things written down about it. I don't remember any of them. But I mean I remember all of them. But I can't say them eloquently without looking at it. Give yourself a little high five for remembering to do things. Everyone's depression manifests differently and obviously not all of these things are going to work for you necessarily because this is how it works for me and maybe it's how it works for you, maybe not. If it doesn't, please don't feel bad about it because everybody's different. First things first, figure out what you want to cook. What kind of foods do you like? Go on Pinterest and type in the dishes that you want to make. Hot tip, soup is really easy to make and really fun to make. A lot of recipes are a lot simpler than you might think. Might use fewer ingredients than you would expect. Take less time. Just overall, like, easier to do. That's the thing about cooking, is that if you want to cook, if you want to make yourself good, nice, healthy, delicious meals, it's really easy. It's a lot easier than you think. And my mom just texted me. And no, just making a video. I look cute today, so she asked me if I was going out. Bless her heart. I wasted a lot of years thinking that cooking was really hard, despite the fact that my dad is a fucking chef. I don't know why I thought that for so long. And then one day, I just did it, and it was easy, and it was fun, and it was great. So, if you have a drive, a motivation, a want, a desire to cook, it's great. I believe in you. You can do it. Next step. You probably haven't showered in a long time. Maybe ha you haven't. I don't know. I don't know your life. But a lot of the time when I'm depressed, I don't shower ever. So hop in, hop in the shower, make yourself all clean and nice, and then you'll automatically feel just a little bit better. When I do that, it gives me the drive to like actually start. At some point, go to the supermarket and make sure that you have all the ingredients for the things that you want. There's also this website, I don't remember what it's called, but I'll find it and I'll link it in the description. You like type in all of the ingredients that you have in your home and then it comes up with recipes that only require those ingredients. So after you've determined that you have all the ingredients to make the thing you wanna make, go on your, your, your laptop or your phone or your tablet or your TV, or whatever you use. I like to put on TED Talks, or podcasts, or like some real hype music. I listen to show tunes a lot of the time. When I cook, like Heather's is a real good one. I have this hilarious video of me dancing in my kitchen listening to Heather's. I'll insert it here for your enjoyment. <laughs> Or like YouTube videos, like long vlogs where people talk, or like video essays are good. Anything that's long, that's usually a good rule for me. That's what I like. So, put on something enjoyable, something fun, something educational, something about murder. You know, whatever floats your boat. Next, once you have your sound of choice playing in your kitchen, do the dishes. Do them. Clean them. Either wash them by hand or unload the dishwasher and then load the dishwasher and run the dishwasher. Clear the counter so you have a nice open space to work with because ooh, claustrophobia mixed with depression makes a cluttered cooking space very anxiety for me. So when the counter and the sink are all clear then it helps your mind become clear and you don't have to worry about any physical or mental clutter in your life because those are not pleasant to have and usually both of them get in the way while you're cooking and working with um, knives and hot things. So that's all I have on my list but I know there are more things so um, I'm gonna make them up. If you're new to cooking, do all your prep work first because it's a nightmare. Even if you know the dish well and you've made it a bunch of times, it's a nightmare to have to like chop things while you're cooking and having to worry about putting things in the thing while you're horrible. So, chop everything first at your own leisurely pace and then you're free to just chill while you cook and you don't have to worry about feeling rushed or overwhelmed or like frantic or or, or my hair is help have this mirror here so I can see I have lipstick all over my teeth. <laughs> Clean up as you go. In my experience, especially if you have roommates, not trying to add anybody, but 
it can feel really overwhelming to have to like clean all of your dishes and make sure that the whole kitchen is clean right before you eat and then your food's gonna get cold and it's just like not a good experience. If you wait until after you eat to clean everything up, sometimes if you have roommates, they might get mad that you didn't clean up right away. So just clean up as you go and it'll be good. Yeah. That I don't then enjoy your meal step whatever number I don't um, enjoy eat your food and enjoy it so yeah that's it my that's my advice and um, I um, hope that you enjoyed whatever state I'm in right now I promise I'm not drunk I don't know what you want me to say I'm a little bit sick too but it's fine cuz I'm alive and you know I'm filming this on um, World Suicide Prevention Day I wish I was posting it on that this day but it's okay. You're gonna be okay. Things are going to get better. We'll see you tomorrow. Sing the music, play the sports. Goodbye. I'm excited about this video. We're doing great. This outside is so pretty. It's so pretty. I love the clouds. I love the clouds and the, the fucking trees. out of the woods um, and home before dark.